I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, obviously, you're the genesis of this film in a way from way back when. What can you tell us about why you wanted to have your story put up on the screen? Because it's really cool. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Wouldn't you want your life to be put on screen? Come on. But, you know, but if you had a chance to. Yeah, no, I mean, basically, you know, I, I wrote a book called Greetings for Barry Park, came out in 2007. And when I wrote it, I was like, oh my God, how cool would it be to make a feature film about it, you know? Um, didn't seem that likely, but why not? Why not give it a go? And uh, yeah, it's like a surreal out of body experience to see your teenage life recreated. But come on, it's going to last. And it lasts, you know, it's something which is going to be there for decades. It's kind of an amazing thing. And obviously working with Gurinder Chada must have been a dream come true anyway. What an amazing director to work with to develop your story. So how was that relationship and that process? Well, I've got, I mean, she's there, so I can't really say anything, you know. But no, um, I mean, basically it was amazing because she's also a Springsteen fan. She also comes from a similar cultural background that I do. So it was basically like two mates getting a chance to work on something that we both love. Do you know what I mean? So talk about a passion project. And so what was great was that, you know, the hard work was trying to listen to Springsteen songs and work out what songs you're going to put in the film and things, which isn't really worth work is traditionally understood. And working with this sort of new generation of actors who didn't live through the 80s, perhaps weren't even that familiar with Bruce Springsteen, what was it like working with them and, and seeing them play out your story? Well, I said to Vivek that I had T-shirts older than him. So it was like, you know, and he has no idea. When I first met him, he was like, I'm really into old school music. And I was like, that's brilliant. What do you mean? And he said, oh, music from the 2000s. And I was like, oh my God. But it was amazing because as a result of making the film, they're now massive Springsteen fans. So it's worked. And there's definitely a lot of humour in the film. It's incredibly uplifting. But there is a serious element to it. This sort of back, backdrop of the social issues of being British Pakistani in, in Luton and in, in, in the Thatcher. But So what do you think people take away from it in that respect? But why do you think it might be particularly relevant today? Well, the thing is, ultimately, for me, what I hope they take away is that fact that we... We're living in a time now when it's very divided and polarised and people are talking about, you know, dividing people. Like, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're in this group, you're not fully belonging, if you're not that group. And I think one of the lessons of this film is that music doesn't recognise borders. So as a 16-year-old, I love Springsteen, even though he was thousands of miles away in New Jersey. And it didn't matter because it spoke to me. And that, in that way, music speaks to people regardless of where they come from. And I'm hoping that this film will speak to people regardless of where they come from. And I think that's the thing you want to try and get over is that it's a message of hope. Hope really, because it's a real, for me, it's a message of hope in slightly hopeless times right now. Do you have a favourite moment in the whole film? You know, that moment where Javed first gets into Springsteen and he puts on Dancing in the Dark and it just blows his mind. It's, it's like listening to Bruce for the first time for me. It's an incredible moment. It's just really dramatic and over the top and the hurricanes going. And like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always rocking whenever I see that moment. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations on a wonderful film. Lovely to meet you.